today I'm going to be reviewing uh, the Monso uh, canvas leather uh, briefcase. Now, chances are you probably haven't heard of the brand Monso unless you're really into leather goods or uh, you've lived in Japan. Um, so they're a Japanese company um, made up of uh, a handful of uh, craftsmen. Uh, they have a shop in uh, Ameyoko in Ueno, which is in Tokyo, Japan, uh, as well as in, uh, they have a studio in Kobe as well. Uh, the interesting thing about this brand is that um, they don't have uh, any sort of branding or logos on their products, which I find is, is nice because it, it really means that, um, uh, you know, it's they're competing with other brands just based solely on the quality of the materials they use and uh, the level of their craftsmanship. And um, yeah, so uh, their um, their main offerings are, are bags. Um, they are a, a company that specializes in leather bags. Um, they do have this, you know, uh, canvas bag as well. But um, they also do, um, on the side, they do wallets and other small leather goods as well. Um, so yeah, so about this bag, uh, they use vegetable tan, a leather, as well as um, um, brass hardware, unpolished brass, so it ages nicely, and it's also the type, uh, same type of brass that they use on equestrian equipment. So you know that it's durable, it's gonna last you a lifetime if you take care of it properly. Um, I'm not sure how many ounces uh, this canvas is, um, but it um, so it has two two pockets on the outside, um, stitched rolled handles, and a newspaper pocket in the back as well. Um, and it also comes with uh, a canvas strap, also with the um, with the with the solid brass hardware and the um, vegetable tan leather. Now let's um, let's go to a close up um, to show you the inside of the bag as well. All right, so here we are for close up. Right. So these pockets open up like so. Let's see inside. Um, the whole bag is is lined. Um, the inside of the pockets. Again, here is a view of the, uh, the newspaper pocket in the back, again, lined. And just take a look at these handles. They're, I mean, the way that they do their um, edges is just, they do such a good job. Um, you don't see this level of attention in, in most bags, especially in this price range. Um, it's just, the, it's, it's, I don't, <laughs> I tried to find an unfinished, unburnished, edge on this bag and I, I simply couldn't. Um, see, even, even spots like this, this is only a very thin layer of, um, of leather they managed to burnish perfectly. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's move now on to the uh, inside of the bag. Yeah, so there's a pocket here, a large pocket that you could use for a laptop or a, a tablet. Um, this briefcase easily fits uh, an A4 and there's, even if you fit, even if you put in an A4 size notebook or whatever, there's there's um, still room left over in case you want to put other stuff in there as well. Um, on the other side you have three pockets um, and the edges are lined with uh, the same leather that's used on the outside. We have a zipper here. Um, you can put your uh, wallet and other small goods in, keys, etc. It doesn't come with a key fob, but there are plenty of pockets, so um, you shouldn't have any issues there. Um, the nice thing is that the bag opens up. Um, the zipper goes all the way to the bottom, so you can really sort of open the bag um, up and um, remove or place, con place um, whatever you want in there. Um, and there are these sort of uh, walls on both ends which prevent 
uh, stuff on the outside from falling out when you do open, when you do unzip it all the way. Yeah, so... Just, uh... And um, the corners are... Um, they have some uh, leather padding on the corners as well, which is very nice. Um, yeah, and I also heard that... Uh, I haven't confirmed this, but I hear that between uh, the shell and um, the lining, there's a there's like a rubber pad or something in there to just to give it, uh, just to make it waterproof, water resistant. Um, and of course, the piping here is all leather as well. So overall, very nice bag, very nice craftsmanship. Um, the craftsmanship, the level of skill needed to make these bags is just. <sighs> Um, yeah, um, I, I look forward to purchasing more from these guys in the future. Um, two things I wanted to point out, which, um, there isn't a lot of negative, um, there aren't a lot of negative things to say about this bag, but if I were to be nitpicky, um, the stitching here is a bit inconsistent. Um, yeah, it's sort of, see there, it's not a straight line. Um, again, it's, I mean, this part of the bag, you hardly ever really, you know, you have to look very closely to even notice it. Um, so that's one. And uh, the second thing is the um, the strap here. So the strap, it just, um, you just pull it through these D-rings and that's how you uh, secure them. Now, if you look closely, the leather piece here is a bit misaligned. Um, again, very minor. Um, yeah. So it is noticeable, um, and I do feel um, it's something that they could have, um, you know, gotten right. But it's as a handmade good, you do expect these um, sort of inconsistencies. That's some people may argue that that's what adds adds value to these bags. Um, but yeah, so that was my review of the Monso canvas leather bag. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.